Hello everyone, my name is Steph, I'm Botanist in the school, and today we are finishing my Beholder Mini! I actually got this a little while ago, and I think we've had like three or four parts to this so far. So, I'm glad to be saying that I am finishing the Beholder Mini today, it is going to be done, and we probably won't touch in any significance in the future, except for maybe a touch up here and there. And, uh, yeah. If you guys like mini painting, like and subscribe, all that cool stuff. I stream this live on Twitch whenever I feel like it. So, hey, go check that out. Links are down in the description below. Let's get right on into it, guys. This model, the reason why I chose to paint this model today was, or rather last week was, because I had gone model shopping a little while ago. I wanted to buy some more models, and I actually bought uh, three young, uh, young dragons. I bought a copper dragon, a silver dragon, and a gold dragon. But while I was there, I also talked to the proprietor or the workers at the store and I go, hey, listen, I need to learn how to get that transparent look on those transparent magic pieces or for like the emerald dragon piece. And they go, okay, yeah, that is a little more difficult. You could always use an airbrush for that, but you could also just make really, really thin paint. So I decided, all right, I'm going to do that for the beholder because the beholder has like these transparent magic, um, like magic pieces and I'm like I gotta do that for the beholder so I chose out my color set which includes in total for every color I've used in this uh in this video Feywild Emerald, Grunk Green, Matte White, Pixie Dust Pink, Cobalt Red, Rust Monster, Frost Blue, Newt Fire Newt Orange, Glistening Blood, and Beholder Purple. And I did a few mixings here and there as well to get a few uh, better vibes for different colors I really wanted to see um, to really do what I did. And what I did basically was I did the transparent parts of the magic, uh, of the magic, uh, transparent little magic bits on the end of the eyes. And I could have done better. I'll be honest, I think what I should have done, because what I did was I basically gave it a very thin coat of a darker color. What I should have done was given it a thin coat of a light color and then a thin coat of a dark color. That way it looked deeper because I put light colors on the top as like just paint, not as a thin coat. I put it on the top as paint and I, it didn't come out fantastic. I really should have done light color first. That way when I put a second layer on it, the light color is still on the top, but the dark layer is in the bottom. That way the lightning looked more crackling, the fire looked deeper and darker, uh, and like more intense and that kind of stuff. And I should have done that, but I didn't. <laughs> I learned for next time though, and I will say this, making the paints thin was not hard. But I really screwed up with the pink one specifically because I ended up making that way too thick and chunky. And I look at it now, even when it's just like sitting next to me, and I'm like, oh, I could have, I could have really done better. I'm not gonna lie. But nonetheless, I think I did a great job for the first time painting transparent magical pieces or painting just transparent pieces for models in general. Other than that, I did focus on the eye. I wanted to give the eye a little bit more depth. So I changed the iris' color to brown and added like a gold or like a, the, I believe that was the uh, fire newt orange color inside around the pupil to give it uh, this little depth. And I really worked with the glistening blood color to get that bloodshot eye kind of vibe. And I think I accidentally did amazing. I am so proud of the eye, honestly. I think I did amazing with that. And I am really, really happy with how that turned out. I'm not gonna lie. The eye was honestly the best part of this up of this uh upgrade, updated, whatever word I want to use for it. Hilariously enough, I did forget to put pupils on every other single eye, which I'm probably just gonna do when I have a few moments like in real life and just kinda go boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and I also did change the shading a bit. Now I'll admit that my first set of shading in the last uh, in the last video you'll see was I shaded it blue. I thought, you know, it might be unique, it might be cool, I like it blue. But then I'm like, I don't like it blue because it seems so drab and mellow. I really want that red on there. So I put a little bit of a dry brushing red on there and it was fantastic. And I actually used a dry brush this time. So I actually got a new set of brushes and this actually had a dry brush, a dedicated dry brush. And I'm like, holy shit, this thing works so much better than my old dry brush did. Um, and the tools I had were better and obviously my skills were also better and I really enjoyed it So I got to really do some dry brushing. I got to enhance some of the shades with the uh, with the uh, shadow wash Which of course if I'm using any shade is typically shadow wash 
And honestly, I had a great time with the Beholder. It's, it's, I'm proud of that. Uh, I'm proud of that model. And one day I'm gonna see if I can redo that pink part of it a little again, and maybe redo the magical beams, but I think it's gonna be a good example of how I've improved over time and how I've gotten better with my modeling and with my work uh, and with my painting and stuff, so I'm not too disappointed. Anyways, we should be reaching the end of the video. If you guys are enjoying these videos, like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And hey, if you want to support me more, I'm going to be putting some mini based things on my throne. If you guys want to buy me some minis, I will paint them gladly. Um, and of course, there's dice up there too if you want to get me dice. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. If you want the like beholder stats, look at all the old videos. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. Uh, I hope you had a good time. Stay safe and stay botanist cool. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.